Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a pipeline tag that consists of the size, the spec, the service and then the line number. This tag um, is required in the isometric drawing when we generate an isometric. However, it is not possible out of the box to pull this tag directly into the isometric. There is a way you can do it using the LDT table but again that's a kind of an extra manual step you have to do. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can automate it. Okay so what we've done here is actually, or what I've done I should say, is actually create a new um, plant uh, calculated property in the bottom here. You can see I've called it ISO line number. So if I type the command plant define calculated properties we can see I go to piping and I look at my list and you can see I've got size oh, oops, sorry I'm going the wrong place here I need to click on P3D line group and then I click on ISO line number and what I've done is I've put in a little formula here which is going to add in my nominal size my nominal spec my service and my uh, number and you've got these delimiters hyphen delimiters in between. So what that's going to do is it's going to find the nominal size and find the nominal spec because on a line number they can differ. So Plant 3D can calculate the nominal size and the nominal spec for you. Alright, so when I close that I'll go for so just to show you that again actually I'm going to calculate uh, plant define calculated properties. So actually, to do that, you click on the the uh, the P3D line group, and then you type in a name, and then you you put in those calculations. So I could copy this one to save typing it all out again. And you, use, you can use these buttons here, or you can just write it out here. I'll actually put a copy of this string of text in the uh, in the video notes. Okay, so you just type in a name, and then you type in this here. You can copy it from my video notes, and then you you apply and close. Okay. So once you've created that, you'll see that you'll have the extra property down the bottom here. You might need to plant, uh, refresh, oops, refresh calculate properties to update that property to populate it. You can also uh, plant property, uh, no, nope, not that one, hold on, project, let's go for, it's hard to remember all these. Property, uh, plant refresh calculated properties, we've done that one. Update line properties, that's the one I'm looking for. So that's the other command. So these, you can see the three are grouped together here. So that's the, that's the one to define, plant define calculate properties. That's where we created the property. Then we refresh the property and then we've updated the line properties as well. So. You might want to do this one first and that one, you know, just see how it goes. Um, and then that should fix it so that your property is populated as it is down here. All right. You can see that also it's populated in my tag. So how have I got that? So I've actually gone to my project setup. So if you didn't already know, Plant can only pull properties that come from the P3D line group directly into the isometric. Okay, so anything that comes from the piping equipment, maybe a pipe run component, any of these properties, they can only be extracted into the ISO uh, isometric drawing uh, via the LDT table. So that's an extra manual step, um, which is another lesson altogether. So what I've done in my uh, pipe run component, I have created an acquisition and 
and you've got an acquisition P3D line group service, P3D line group tag, and you've got this pipe run component tag that I've created in here and I've set it in here as well. And the format of this, if I click modify, you can see that it's actually pulling just that property, but that property makes up the complete tag with the size, the spec, the service, and the number. So that's all I need to pull and it creates this string of text to create my tag. Okay. So if I click on the P3D line group, you can see that my new property is populated at the bottom here. So therefore I can pull this directly into the uh, isometric drawing. Okay. So I'll click OK on that. So just to show you what I do to uh, set up the isometric attribute to pull that property. If I go to the isometric DWG settings, look at title block display, click on setup title block. Right, and then we click on title block attributes. And we can see we've got a, a line number attribute here. So all I have to do is map my attributes. Yeah, and go down my list find my line number attribute and you can see here I've mapped it to my ISO line number property. So I'll click OK on that and close that. Alright, once I'm happy, close the block editor, save the changes. Once I'm happy with this, return to the project setup, save the changes. Come out of the project setup by pressing OK. All right. So then I can route a new pipe. Call it one five 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 and assign. Okay. So you can see we've got the the size, the spec should have the number, I just need to set the service in here, whatever service I want it to be. Just drain maybe. You can see I've got it colored by service at the moment. All right, so I can click on my pipe. Look there, and we've got nothing in there at the moment. So I'm going to update line properties. Just of the drawing, I'm going to plant, refresh, calculate properties of my drawing. And then we'll have a look down here. And we should see my ISO line number is populated. And if I click on one piece of pipe, my tag is also populated. So now all I need to do is do an isometric of this piece of pipe. So I'm going to go onto my ISO, select projection ISO, select the pipeline I want to do an ISO of, click create. It'll analyze the model. Down the bottom here you can see it's creating the isometric. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. And there it is. Click on there to view the isometric. You can see it's giving me the link to the DWG and there we have it the line number is populated in our isometric title block attribute thank you for, your, for watching please feel free to contact Man Machine if you have any more questions cheers bye